Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be paralleling the Gen Max 9000 and the Duramax 9000. As you guys know, these are two different generators. You guys already know that when it comes to paralleling this generator, this one has the three parallel ports. So you have your line one, line two, and the neutral. The Duramax only has two, so you only have your ground, line one, line two. So there's no neutral. So when you try to parallel this generator, you have to use a parallel kit, but you have no neutral. If you guys already have the Duramax 9000 and you want to parallel it with the Gen Max, you can. I'm going to show you how that's done. There's no um, box needed because this generator has. 50 amp plug okay so it utilizes that instead of buying a parallel kit you just buy the generator you're gonna have to i made this one so guys i'm gonna parallel this generator real quick video i'm just gonna show you that it can work and we're gonna be using this tester to make sure that everything's okay so it's gonna show you if you have an open neutral or everything's correct once i get them parallel together I'm going to use this heater as usual. It's a 30 amp, 240 volt, 7,200 watts heater. So we can see if they're parallel and if they're pulling the power. Oscilloscope over here is going to show us if we have a pure sine wave. And this is going to show us if we have an open neutral. Let's see if it can work. Okay, so just for you guys who are going to ask me, where did I buy this? This is the one I made. So instead of buying a second one, if you have one already and you want to buy a Gen Max, you want to see if they parallel together, if they work together, let's try that out. Okay, let me get this connected. I'm going to put red to black. And the neutral, I'm just going to put it in there. But on this side, you can see the neutral is just capped because there's no spot on this side. It does have its ground. That's all it needs. Two leg and the ground. The ground is connected over here too. All right. In the in this 50 amp plug, I'm going to use the meter. So let's plug that in right here so we can see if it says correct. We know everything's correct. If you guys want one of these, I'll put the link in the description for you. Okay, so we connected everything over here. Connect it over here. Let's get it started. So we'll go power on. We're on gas. Power on. We'll fire this one up first. Oh, one thing I have to show you guys. When you're paralleling the Gen Max and the Duramax, always make sure that the Duramax is on the right side. The exhaust is on the right side. So you don't want to have it on the left side because it will blow into the Gen Max. So always make sure the duramax or the gen Ma or the predator always make sure the duramax or the predator is on the right side that way the exhaust goes this way the gen max the exhaust is in the back so it doesn't matter that's the one thing i have to tell you guys just always make sure it's on the right side and start your gen max first okay because that's going to be the primary so let's get this one started we got power. Okay, turn on the breaker. We come over here. And start. Okay. Let them warm up for a minute. As you can see guys, already, we already have a correct, no open ground, nothing going to your uh, load. So that's good. Let's check the oscilloscope. Okay guys, you can see you have a pure sine wave. 
They're both ready. We're going to be using the monitors. Okay, guys, we're going to turn on the load. Now. Okay. 4,001. 3.8. There you go. So they will work together. And like I told you, always make sure the exhaust coming out on this side. That's the only thing I ask you guys to do. I don't want to hear you put it right here and it burns into your dead max. So it can be done. You can parallel the Gen Max 9000 with the Duramax 9000. Set it up. And now you shut off your Gen Max last. Okay guys, so there you go. You can parallel the Gen Max 9000 with the Duramax 9000 and it works perfectly. You have a pure sine wave coming out. Everything is correct. You do have your 50 amp plug. If you want to utilize that, I just use that because I wanted to show you that it was correct. So I just went ahead and used this 240 volt for the 7200 watt heater just to test it. If you have to hook it up to your house, you can use the 50 amp plug. And everything will be fine. You don't have to. You don't need a generator kit. You don't need a parallel kit. They're both remote start, and you can go that route. Okay, guys. If you like this video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Thanks for watching. Hit that subscribe. Leave a comment, guys. I appreciate you guys watching with these videos. Couldn't do this without you guys. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye.